Gateshead, the side leading the Vanarama National League coming into this weekend, the only side yet to taste defeat in the Vanarama National League this season. But they're on the road in the capital as they take on Dagenham and Redbridge. And you know that the Daggers have sharpened their tools tonight to try and take a league scalp. Belohan goes back, the Frenchman just inside to Robbie Tinkler. Tinkler trying to play his way out from the back, but might have played his way into a little spot of bother here. And Gessan has to go back, plenty in the box. Juan is Moreas to the far post. It's a lovely nod back across goal as well, and that's the opener. Dion Pereira, who had a brace in midweek, keeps the goal scoring run going inside five minutes here of Victoria Road. It's the perfect start for Dagenham and Redbridge. They've lit the blue touch paper and they found a spark early on. Well, you've got to say it's magnificent work from Marais on the left hand side. He's playing in an uh, uh, unnatural position for him because he, he plays wide of the three just behind Josh Amira. But he's taken to that role perfectly. And this, you know, I think this must be his third or fourth assist so far this season. But him and Pereira have struck up a real good understanding of when one's going to be crossing the ball, the other one makes sure that they find themselves in the box. It's a lovely little clip to the far post. You see here, he just as soon as it comes back, Reese, lovely little clip to the far post, but Marias doesn't go for goal. He has the nerves to know that Pereira's going to be arriving. Little nod back to him, and, and you've got to say a fantastic finish for Pereira. Fifth goal of the season. Forwards always fancy it, don't they, when they get a chance, but the unselfish nature there from Marais, allowing his side to break the deadlock so early, and they have something to hold on to already. Pereira sends it in. Nodded across goal, and it's an easy chest in by Josh Reese. Of course, it would be those two that find the opening two goals for Dagenham and Redbridge today. Pereira with the first, Reese with the second. It's unconventional, the finish, but my goodness, in this part of London, they'll take anything that comes their way right now just to keep momentum trending upwards. And with this start, that's exactly what the hosts are doing this evening. Well, you've got to say, it's terrible defending from Gateshead, but... Dagenham just make the most of it. It's a lovely little head back across, but again, it's that man arriving late in the box, always on the move, always sniffing out an opportunity. And he just chests that into the goal. It's almost like he doesn't want Pereira to get away from him. So Pereira gets his fifth of the season. Reese has to go and get his. Whedon looking for the return pass. He's there on that top corner of the 18 yard box. Very work. Well, work between he and Hannon. Oh, that almost finds a way through, and it does find a way through, and that's going to be an own goal, I think. That looked like it came off Kellen Bay. Owen Ossini is going to at least try and take the applause from the travelling supporters, but that is a lifeline for Gateshead in a game where they've made very few chances. And just like that, they half the deficit around the half hour mark. And it's just that lapsing defensive concentration that you can't afford to have against these good sides in the Vanarama National League. And that has cost Dagenham and Redbridge their two-goal advantage. Well, they'll feel disappointed there because, like you say, it was just a moment of, of lapsing concentration. It's, it's a nothing cross, but as that ball comes in, he doesn't work his feet. I don't think he realises that Asini's just on his shoulder. And by the time he does, you know, he, he just sticks a leg out and it ends up coming off of his shin and ending up in the back of his own net. So a really disappointing goal for, for Ben Strevens for, for his team to concede, but... And Gessan didn't judge that well at all as it drifted by him. Well picked off by Pereira and he gets it back for his hard work. Moraes wants it on the right boot. <laughs> it on the right boot and finishes it on the right boot perfectly he has been itching to open his account for Dagenham and Redbridge and look what it means to Junior Moraes as he restores the two goal cushion and does it in scintillating fashion well we've praised Junior Moraes all afternoon sets up the first goal we've praised him for his work rate working back for the team but there he gets his just rewards. And this time, Pereira's the provider. Pereira sees 
sees the run of Moraes. As Pereira picks it up here, you think, is he going to shoot? No. He sees his teammate. He's still got a lot to do there, Moraes. But just checks back in on his right foot and a lovely curling shot. Just up and over Brooks into the far corner. Perfect way to open your account. Mr. Pereira could have perhaps just gone looking for Reese, who'd made a great run down this near sideline. Moraes has made a good run as well. Flag staying down for the moment. He's in on goal and looking for another here. Moraes still going. Took too long. Penalty given. There was no appeal whatsoever from the home supporters or the players. But Alan Dale points to the spot and Junior Moraes has won his side a penalty and a chance, perhaps from 12 yards, to wrap this up with around about 20 minutes to go. And I just wonder if the official has seen possibly a handball on the ricochet. Yeah, there, listen, there, there's a handball there, but I think it actually comes off of, off of Booty's leg and goes up onto his arm. For me, that's not a penalty. It's brilliant work from Moraes, but for me, not a pen. Well, it has been given, and it's a chance now for Dion Pereira for his second, and he sides fourth, and he slots it home from 12 yards. This is turning into an awfully good week for Dion Pereira, and perhaps an even better one for Dagenham and Redbridge right now. 4-1 they lead. It'll be interesting to see the reaction as Pereira goes straight in to win possession, and Gessan rides a challenge. Moraes, he wants it on the right, he gets it on the right! Oh! It is so, so good from that man. Two for him, five for Dagenham and Redbridge. It's a carbon copy finish almost of his first. Everybody in this stadium knew he wanted to shift it onto the right boot and find that far corner. And you just can't stop it. Well, it's one thing wanting to shift it on onto your right foot and, and bend it into the corner, but it's another thing having the ability to do it. And, He'd done it the first time, and you think, when it comes to him, I'm thinking, go on, cut in and do it again. And he does it perfectly. It's not with power, it's all about the accuracy. It's all about making sure it just comes off the inside of that far post. And it's a magnificent finish, delighted for Junior. I'm glad to be on the other side of it now. Long throw into the box, flicked on, there might be a chance for number six, as it turned in, Amara thinks he's got it. And so do the officials, bundled home by hook or by crook, and it's six on. No one is in doubt whatsoever that Dagenham and Redbridge have come and put on a show this afternoon. Under the lights, on home soil. But it's a result that even Ben Strevens wouldn't have surely seen coming. Well, Ben Strevens looks so cool and, and, and relaxed, but inside he'll be jumping for joy because this performance from Dagenham have, uh, has been outstanding. It's, I, think, I don't even think he could have even dreamed that they'd get a performance like this, but they used the Sam Ling long throw. They used it to good effect. A, a little flick on at the near post, but Josh Amira just uses his physical presence, uses his power to get the, get the first contact and Brooks can't keep it out. Six goals, wow. All right, boys. Gregor Cox, that's a fantastic touch. Even better for Reese. he's in on goal. Could it be number seven? Never in out Josh Reese, his second of the afternoon and can you believe this scoreline Dagenham and Redbridge seven Gateshead one the final whistle goes in delirious celebrations for the Daggers they sharpen their knives and they have taken a scalp today the side that were on top of the Vanarama National League table coming into the weekend have hit perhaps rock bottom in their season so far. A 7-1 thumping for Rob Elliott's side. And for the Daggers, it is back-to-back -back victories in the Vanarama National League for the first time since November last year. And they've found both of them on home soil.
an imperious performance wrapped up by a superb finish from one of their star men of the season, Josh Rees. It doesn't get better to sign off a victory, does it, Aaron? Well, it's, it's a brilliant way to end the game. Got the, as soon as the uh, Grego Cox plays him through, you know exactly what's coming. You know that once Reese is through on goal, he very, very rarely misses it. The finish was magnificent. He just fires it into that far top-hand corner. Brilliant way to end the game and a brilliant performance from Dagenham and Redbridge. We wondered perhaps if a goal scorer is going to be needed for them. Josh Reese has perhaps shown that he can provide more than just the 15 goals he had in the league last season.